What's going on guys? Welcome to your second stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and stimulus bill detailed report for Tuesday, September 29th. Now, this is big. This is really good news. I have here in my hand, okay, the new Heroes Act. Yes, this is the new act. This is the new 87 page proposal that Nancy Pelosi revealed yesterday. So I have this in my hand and I want to break it down and explain what is in it and what is happening right now. A lot of people were skeptical that this bill, this proposal would not happen. Nancy Pelosi was lying. However, she has followed through. She has provided us with a $2.2 trillion stimulus proposal, the new and revised HEROES Act, and I want to explain what is in it and how much stimulus you could expect moving forward. Now, instead of going through all 87 pages of this report, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. It would take far too long. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna give you a simple brief rundown. It's about a three page rundown of all the stuff that's in it. Basically all the stuff that's in that you and I probably care about. So I'm gonna address that. And then later on today and tomorrow, I'm gonna go over more stuff, go over individual items inside this bill so that you know exactly what is in it and what to expect moving forward. So. That is what I'm going to do, but remember, okay, this is big, this is huge. President Trump is still at $1.5 trillion. Nancy Pelosi, she provided us a bill for 2.2. So there's a little bit of wiggle room that we need to address in order to get this approved. It also is being reported that Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin are meeting sometime this morning to address this proposal, to address what's in it and possibly reach some type of an agreement or at least you know hammer out their differences and see what inside this proposal is going to stick and what they could negotiate on. Again, Steve Mnuchin wants to bring that bill down a little bit, possibly to about $2 trillion. So that is what we know so far, but let's dive into what is actually in this new HEROES Act. So currently, and I'm these are not in really in any order, but I put the most the stuff that you guys really want to know, I put that in the beginning so you don't got to stick around for the end of this video to see the stuff that you really want to know. First off, unemployment. In this proposal, it is $600 per week for unemployment. That's their federal unemployment boost. $600 per week, just like it was from the original CARES Act. Now, this would start on September 6th is when it would begin and it would go through January of 2021. So it would, it would expire January 31st of 2021, which means we still have a lot of time left for unemployment benefits. Also, this would include self-employed and gig workers as well. And if you are taking care of somebody, you are the primary caregiver for somebody with COVID, then you would be taken care of here as well. If you cannot work because you're the caregiver, that puts it in there where you can claim that $600 per week in federal unemployment benefits. Also, the second stimulus check. This is one of those things that a lot of people have been questioning. You know, what is Nancy Pelosi going to do? Is Steve Mnuchin and the Trump administration going to agree? Well, here's where we're at right now, which I believe most Republicans would agree this is a good idea. This is a great starting point. It's going to be a $1,200 stimulus check. I know we were hoping for more. However, $1,200 is really all Republicans and Democrats can agree on. We're not Canada. We're not going to get $2,000 per month in a recurring stimulus check. That would be nice, but it's not going to happen. So it would be $1,200 for filers, $1,200 for their spouse, and $500 for all dependents. Yes, all dependents no matter the age. Also, if you do not have a social security number, but you have an ITIN number, you qualify. As long as you do not make over $75,000 for an individual and over $150,000 for a couple, that's two people. Also, child support. This was big. If child, child support before, in the first, the, the CARES Act, child support was taken. If you owed any back child support, it was taken. You did not get a stimulus check. However, in this one, the HEROES Act, the, the government cannot take your stimulus check to pay for child support. It will not touch it. Also, they cannot touch it. Anybody can't touch this. If there's a garnishment, 
your stimulus check is safe. Um, there will be no retroactive stimulus checks. I mentioned this in a previous video later or last week where there was a possibility that we could see a stimulus check that was retroactive for anybody that didn't get the first one because they're an adult dependent. Well, based on the writing, that is not the case. There will be no retroactive stimulus checks for adult dependents. And there's also nothing mentioned in here for a possible third stimulus check, which means Nancy Pelosi and Democrats, House Democrats, are not looking into the future like the Problem Solvers Caucus did. There's no automatic boosters in this proposal. There's nothing like that. It's just a simple proposal, just like the CARES Act, just like the original HEROES Act. It's very simple, very basic, and they're just distributing money to those that they think are in need. Now, for small businesses, there is more PPP funding However, as of right now, here's how it stands. They are going to use the, the leftover funds from the previous payment protection program, which is roughly $130 billion. So the, the way that they're going to address this, they're going to give 10% of that $130 billion to businesses with 10 or fewer employees, and they will get any future aid as well. Now, this 10%, that's $13 billion. Now, also, the loans have to be under $250,000. For nonprofits, they're allocating 30% of the $130 billion, which comes out to roughly $39 billion. And 50% to, uh, of the PPP funds will go to a second round. So people that previously got the first round of PPP funds, they can also get a second round of PPP funds, which comes out to roughly $65 billion there as well. Here's a big one. This one right here is for rent and homeowners assistance. There's $21 billion for homeowners. That includes any, uh, any back payment. So for example, if you went and claimed forbearance and you got forbearance for let's say four months, you could potentially go and get some assistance out of this $21 billion fund to pay back your mortgage. So you would not necessarily need to add on you know, four months at the end of your mortgage you could pay back a couple months right now. That's really good. Also, a lot of people were saying that forbearance is great, but now they're struggling with property taxes, utilities, and insurance. That's all covered in this. So if you are a homeowner, not a renter, but a homeowner, then property taxes, insurance, and utilities, and some other costs are also um, available for you. So just think about that. Uh, Five billion for homeless grants, yes. For, for people that are at the, at the risk of becoming homeless or have already been homeless for whatever reason, there is a $5 billion grant available. And then lastly, $50 billion for renters to avoid evictions. Right now we know we're roughly about $25 billion behind in rent. That's what we are uh, for all Americans. But this is providing double that, $50 billion. That's really good. That's important to keep people inside their home. We also got $438 billion for state and local government funding. That is less than the Problem Solvers Caucus overall proposal. They were at a little over $500 billion. So that's really good. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and House Democrats brought it down a little bit. However, there's no automatic booster, so it's all guaranteed. $438 billion is guaranteed going to state and local governments. They're breaking this down as $238 billion for states and $179 billion for local governments. They're doing this so that our heroes, our frontline workers, our you know, people that work for the state, the, our local governments, the city, okay, they are not being laid off right now. They're saying those are our heroes. That is who we should be giving money to. So $438 billion for state and local government funding. I know $238 plus $179 billion does not equal $438. There's other funds in there, but you know some for tribal, stuff like that. I didn't throw that in there because I didn't want to confuse you guys, so that's why. School funding is $208 billion. That is $175 billion for elementary and secondary schools. That is $27 billion for public high schools. And that also includes $11.9 billion for higher education. Again, there's more money in there for other things. However, $208 billion overall for school funding. Food assistance. Food assistance was somewhat taken care of in a small portion 
with the continuing resolution bill that the government is trying to pass. It's currently, it's been passed by the House. However, the Senate has not yet voted on it as of today. So the food assistance, it comes out to $450 million for food banks. That's incredible, giving money to food banks. Food banks are actually struggling right now. They're trying to get in more food because uh, they understand there's a homelessness problem. So obviously 450 billion will definitely help out there. 400, bill, 400 million dollars, uh, excuse me, 450 million for food banks. I don't remember if I said that or not, or if I said billion, it's million. 400 million for WIC, WIC stands for Women, Infant and Children. There's $10 billion to SNAP benefits. That will include hot foods. Hot foods also are known as prepared foods. So if you go to a Walmart, you can you normally would only be able to buy certain things that were not prepared. Now you could go to their hot case and possibly buy a pizza or you know chicken nuggets or something like that. So that's really good. And also 15% increase in SNAP benefits. So again, there's gonna be increases across the board with SNAP benefits. There's also 57 billion for childcare support for struggling families. This is huge. Health and human services, there's 249 billion. This is going to go for research and development, vaccines and other matters. For the CDC, they will get 13.7 billion so definitely not even close to what health and human services get, but they get something. FEMA fund, this is interesting. If you remember FEMA, uh, they gave uh, President Trump, they, President Trump used um, from the FEMA fund $44 billion to pay for the unemployment boost for the uh, Americans that were unemployed. That FEMA fund at $44 billion, that is being given back in the tune of 1.3 billion. So FEMA gives 44 billion and Nancy Pelosi and House Democrats are going to give FEMA 1.3 billion dollars back to that fund. I believe that's gonna be an issue. Also, the United States Postal Service is going to get 15 billion dollars and there, there's a little bit of an issue here. When I was reading through this, it also said there's an additional 15 billion that goes to uh, I believe the uh, postmaster general for his discretion. So I'm not sure if that's 15 billion and it's at his discretion how he's going to use it or if it's 15 billion to the postal service and then an additional 15 billion to the postmaster general at his discretion. So I believe it's only 15, but it could potentially be up to 30. Um, there's $120 billion in this for restaurant grant money. We know right now restaurants are struggling, they're hurting, and so there's $120 billion for grant money for restaurants. That could be big, and that could potentially pull restaurants from outside of bankruptcy and outside of they just went under. They could potentially come back, go back into business with this new grant money. So we'll see what happens there. Student loan repayment suspension. Okay, The federal student loans are going to be suspended based on this uh, proposal. They will be suspended through September 30th, 2021. As of right now, these are only suspended through the end of the year, or actually through January. So I believe January or the end of the year, one of the two. Okay, so that's gonna add about eight to nine months onto that, the federal student loan suspension, all right? Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. This is for airports, airlines, stuff like that. $50 million for masks and protective equipment. Masks, I guess, are very expensive. I didn't realize that, but I guess they are. Um, $13.5 billion for airports. A uh, certain percentage, I believe 25% of that, I have to look back, but I believe 25% of that is going to go to the restaurants and the businesses inside of the airports. But total $13.5 billion for the airport. $32 billion for airlines. This is going to be used for payroll and other costs. Broadband internet is going to be $12 billion. It's very important that this is put in there because there's a lot of Americans right now that do not have the ability to get internet, which is very difficult in a time like this when the majority of the country is doing school virtually. So that's important, $12 billion for broadband internet. Now, here's what's missing. And this is big because I did a video on this the other day and Nancy Pelosi made it seem like she was gonna provide 
for our heroes. Well, her addition, her her idea of a hero is different than mine. My idea of a hero is somebody like a first responder, frontline workers, people that are actually out there dealing with this pandemic. Nancy Pelosi's idea of heroes is people that work for a state and local government that keep the state and local government working, afloat. Well, what is missing in this, you probably already know, is hazard pay. There is nothing in here for hazard pay. Not a dollar, not a million, not a billion, zero. There's absolutely no hazard pay in here. So, now, that is what is in, basically what is in this 87 page Heroes Act. Now, I'm not gonna read you this entire thing, like I said, but later on today, and tomorrow, and probably the next day, I'm gonna go through this bit by bit, and I'm gonna explain what's really in it, if there's new information, if we get new updates from Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin, I will definitely bring you those to you. But this is my promise to you. Later today, I will be uploading multiple videos. I've been doing this for the past few days. I will continue to do this. I'm gonna upload multiple videos, outline the different pieces inside this proposal. There's a lot of stuff in here and I wanna make sure I get you all the information that you need. So that's my first, first promise to you. Second promise to you, I wanna know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on this? Because if there is something that you do not like, there's something that you do not understand, I wanna make sure you completely understand this. So that's my other promise to you. If you have questions on this, please ask your questions down in the comment section below so that I can read your questions and I can respond as quickly as possible. So there you guys go. That is your second stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and stimulus proposal detail video. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. I'm gonna spend the next few hours going through this a little bit more, the fine tooth comb, to bring you the next video. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.